G'day, welcome to Partaker's Think Spot at the start of a new week on Monday the 3rd of October 2011. We welcome back once again Pauline as she shares some insights with you. Over to you, Pauline. What we say as Christians is very important. The Bible is clear on that. 1 Peter 2 verse 1 says, Therefore, rid yourselves of all malice and all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and slander of every kind. James 4, verses 11 and 12 states, Brothers, do not slander one another. Who are you to judge your neighbour? The definition of slander is words falsely spoken that damage the reputation of another or an abusive attack on a person's character or good name, or to attack the good name and reputation of someone. So next time you go to say anything negative about someone, or to criticise their actions, think again. James 3 verses 3 to 8 powerfully shows how a small thing such as the tongue is able to cause much damage. He says that the tongue is a world of evil that corrupts the whole person and is itself set on fire by hell. Mark 7 verses 20 to 22 state, Jesus went on, What comes out of a man is what makes him unclean, for from within, out of men's hearts, come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, slander. All these evils come from inside and make a man unclean. Most of us would not consider telling a lie as serious a sin as murder, but Jesus clearly does not separate them. He labels them both evil. Again in Romans 1 verses 29 to 32, the seriousness of slander, gossip and lying are clearly stated. They have become filled with every kind of wickedness, evil, greed and depravity. They are full of deceit, they are gossips, slanderers. Although they know God's righteous degree that those who do such things deserve death, they not only continue to do such things, but also approve of those who practice them. Christians are very good at gossiping, but disguising it as prayerful concern. We pass on a juicy bit of information about someone and then ask the person to pray about the situation. As Christians, we should not pass on any information about anyone else unless the person concerned has asked us to. It is not our place to do so, even if it is for prayer. Philippians 2 verse 14 says, Do everything without complaining or arguing. There is nothing confusing about that command. But how often do we complain about our jobs or our spouses? Or the weather? We are disobeying God when we do. But God does not take disobedience lightly. The excuse everyone does it does not wash with God. When we see him face to face and he asks us why we complain so often and about so many things, everyone else did it will not be an acceptable reason. Our jobs, our spouses and the weather are all gifts from God. We should be thanking him for them, not grumbling about them. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18 says, Give thanks in all circumstances. It does not say give thanks in some and complain in others. So then, before you say anything, think, is what I'm about to say pleasing to God. And now a prayer to help you into this new week. Father God, we thank you for words. We thank you that we can communicate words of life to other people. Help us to use words wisely as we interact, communicate and deal with other people, especially our loved ones and work colleagues. May the Holy Spirit guide, rebuke and counsel as we use the amazing gift of words as we seek to live a life worthy of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Partakers Think Spot. See you again real soon.